Good morning, everyone. It's Sheila. Um, I'm going to do a little half hour class for you. I'm going to call it Kitchen Counter Stretches. I'm going to have my counter in front of me so that when I do my exercises, that I have uh, the ability to balance. You don't have to hold on to your counter if you don't want, but it's there for you. And feel free to hang on when necessary. I uh, hope this goes well. Hope everyone's doing great. Here we go. So I'm gonna start out with our posture, trying to get ourselves straightened up and get ourselves set up. So let's start here. On that side view, it's the shoulders that are dragging and the body is kind of lumped, sunk under, little curl. Try to straighten that spine up through that big breath. So take your big breath in. Exhale, let the shoulders drop down. Again, take a big breath in. Let your shoulders come down. If you can, pull in your tummy just a little bit and your, use your rear end muscles. Inhale in. Exhale down. Let's start with that right leg. Using the counter for balance if necessary. Just taking a little bit, a little forward and a little back. A little forward, a little back. You can start to stretch your foot a little bit. Moving from the ankle, not from the toes. Four more. Last two. And one. And bring it in. And a little weight shifting side to side. Switch to your left leg. Strong through the right leg. Shoulders back, tummy in. Little swinging. You're going to start in the back and come forward. Back. Breathing with it. Inhale and exhale. Taking that little foot movement if you'd like to through the ankle. I think I have two left. And that's that last one. And all the way forward. And shifting the weight side to side. Pulling in the belly. Three. Two. And one. Let's start with our first squat series. So we're trying to keep the back long. Trying to stretch things out. You can give a little bend into your knees and push your bottom back. A little come on down. We're starting small, just to wake things up. Inhale, lengthen upward. Bottom back. That's two. Keep the tummy in, shoulders down. Bottom back. Three. Maybe you're getting a little deeper. Maybe you're not. Belly in. Neck and shoulders, stay relaxed. Three left. Bottom back. Last two. One more. Let's hold that bottom back on this one. Push it back. All the way back. Relax the shoulders. Elbows are bent. Head and neck is relaxed. Little hip movement. Four. Three, pull in that tummy, and one, here we go. Tummy comes in, shoulders come back, and legs straighten up. Holding strong, two, and one. Going into a high march, knees are coming up. Lift them, and lift, pull that belly in. Keep your shoulders down. Let's go for two sets. Two, and one. Staying with the right leg, hanging on, lift, lower. Trying not to touch down if you don't have to. Four more. Three, two, and one. Keep it up. If you feel like you're leaning back, try to get balanced in that standing foot 
Ankle turns. Other way. Little flip and flop. Lift and lower. Almost there. Two. And one. Bring that leg down. Bring your feet in. Again, back to shifting weight. Side to side. Find in the march. Lift. Lift. Pull in that tummy and drop down your shoulders. Five, four, two, and one. Feet down, shifting legs, left side. Counters here, counters here. Whatever works for you. Ready? Lift and lower. You don't need to touch. Pull in the belly. Three, two, and one. You're holding it up. Foot is dangling. Ankle turn. Turning it outward or turning it in one direction so you can switch. Other direction. Might feel a little snap, crackle, and pop going on. Ready, lift, and lower. Your thigh might be getting tired. Make sure your weight is even in your standing leg. Three, two, and one. Take it down. Little shifting. So we're going to stretch that thigh out right in the front. Take the right leg back. Square off your hips to your counter. If you can here, lift your heel. Bringing it all the way in toward your bottom. And reach back for your ankle. If that bothers your calf or your, your hamstring. Just take a little bend. Four, holding. Two, we're gonna do another one at the end. Let the toe come down. Stretch the leg, pick up your heart, pull in your bottom. Little bottom heel kick. Up, down, lift, lower. Four, three, two, one. Down and in. Feet together, knees together. Little squat. And one, and if you can, feet together, knees together. Little squat. Belly in. Try not to use the counter to push up. We're gonna do two more. Feet together, knees together. Find that balance. Pulling the belly on the way up. One more time. We're staying with that right leg. Eyes forward, stretch through the foot, leg is nice and long. If you need to lean in, you may lean in, but don't curl in. Look straight ahead, chin on the shelf, shoulders back and down. Heel up and down. Lift and lower. Up. Four. Three, two, and one. Bring it into the front. Dangle, and now you can curl your body in and look down. Shake out your foot. Two, and one. Let's try again for that thigh stretch. Bring the heel back. Bring the shoulder back. Reach for the ankle if you can. And give it a squeeze. Once you get here, if you pull in your bottom a little bit, pull in your belly a little. Nice little stretch in the front of the thigh. Your standing leg, if you need to, can always bend. Three. And two. Wiggle those toes. Relax the arch. And one. Let it go. We're weight shifting. 
switching legs. Let's hope I can remember the same routine. All right, I'm going to turn and face you, still using my counter. Hmm, maybe I can't do that. How about this way? Ready? Take it back. Take a little bend. Maybe that's all he's got. If you can, you can give a reach. This is just a quick one for four. Three, two, one. Let it go. Taking the heel, kicking toward the bottom. Shoulders back, body long. Heel up and down. Lift it. Heel kick, lower. Kick it up and lower it. Three left. Two left. And one. Take down. Bring it in. Relax it. This is where you can curl and just come on down. Five, four, dangle that foot. Two, and one. Drop it down. Same leg. Find the balance. Find your height. Come in. Take that leg back. We're still with the left leg. We're lifting it. Lift it. Lower it. Lower it. If it's biting in the low back, chin comes down. Eyes look down. Try not to rock. Try to lift. Two more. And one. Bring it in. We forgot those little center squats. Feet together, knees together. Belly in. Squeeze those legs. Squat down. Table for balance. Counter. Don't push to get up. Pull it. And down. Heels together. Knees together. Butt back. Squat it down. Balance. Come on up. Two left. Squat it down. Squeeze those legs. One more. Push back. Pulling that tummy on the way up. Now let's see if we can go for the long stretch on the left side. Shoulder back. Heel comes back. Arm comes back. Pick up that heel and see if you can get it. When you're here, the rear end needs to engage a little bit. Shoulders down. Tummy in. Five. Four. Two more. And one. Let it go. Little shifting. Three. Open up that hip. Feet are shoulder width apart. Shoulders are back. Right foot comes forward. I'm going to hold my knee up the whole time and I'm going to try to open out and in. You can keep it lower if you need to. Out and in. You may only come halfway, but I'm going to come all the way out and in. Open. Close. Out and in. Two more. And one. Taking my foot down. Holding it down. My heel stays off the ground ever so slightly. The ball of the foot is on the floor. Pick it up. Lower it. Try not to lean too far into the counter. Use your rear end muscles on your left leg to help keep your body. Straight. Four. We're going to a figure four. One. Bring that leg forward. Finding your little bit of a squat with that left leg. So, push my hips back and see if I can find my ankle. Rest on my knee. Maybe I'm way up here. Maybe I'm going to come down. Keeping my left hip back, use your counter. Maybe you can sit a little deeper. Only go till you feel it. If it hurts in your joints, 
Come back up a little bit. Push the knee away. Belly in. Four. Three. One. Get out of this by bringing that knee up first. Bring it down. Stay bent. Lift. Little hip movement. Three, two. Let's stay at the same leg. For those of you who can, we're going to try to cross over and out. If you cannot cross over, stop in the middle and out. You don't have to touch. You can swing and out. Cross and cross. Dragging the foot necessary, or you can be tapping. Let's go for three left, two left, and one. Take this down, and we're going to go for a stretch. You can go for just balance front to back, or you can tuck that foot in. Now squeeze to your bottom, holding strong. Four, bottom tight, belly tight, three. Shoulders down. Two. And one. Walk it out. One foot in front. Find the balance. See if you can distribute your weight equally. And let go. Stay. Use your tummy. Three. Two. And one little step forward, trying not to use the, the counter, but it's there if you need it. One foot of the other, one more time, squeeze and balance. Two and one, feet together, weight shifting. Switching legs. Balance. Left foot forward. Right leg strong. Needs to support you. You're going to lift it if you can. You're taking it out and in. You can do the taps. Or you can do the out. Out. And out. Go slowly. We're not trying to go fast here. Opening up that hip. Three. Two, and one, bring it in, holding strong, find your belly, find your center, right, left leg back out, crossovers, let's start out, you come center, out, or cross, out, and you can take the leg and do it with a swing, or a tap, and out. Try to keep the body strong. Standing leg is strong. Let's go four. Three. Two. And one. Take it in. We're going to that figure four. Right hips coming back. Left knees coming forward. Counter. Here we go. Bring it up. Ankle. Once you're there, you can keep those shoulders back. Take it down. My elbow's bending. Catch me on my counter. Keep the hips back. Keep the spine long. Only come down as much as you can. Once you get there, pick up your heart a little if you can. Your chest, your sternum. Chin stays down. Three, two, and one. Going back into that balance, that tight rope balance. Stand tall. Belly in. Let's go for left foot first. Toe to heel to the best of your ability. Squeeze in through your middle, through your belly, shoulders back. Drop your hands. Seems pretty easy. Feel the ball of your foot. It's a big toe mound. Chin on the shell. Four. Without a lot of movement, unless you need to touch the counter. Switch. 
Pull it all back in. Feel the whole foot on the ground. There we go. Five, four, two, and one. And bring them all in. Weight shifting. Just feels good to kind of let your hips relax. Two. And one. We're going to work a little bit toward the bottom, toward your glutes. If this bothers your hamstring at any point, you're going to need to take it down and start over. Sometimes we point our toes. We don't want to point our toes. So we're going to take the right leg back and bend the knee. Move your ankle just a little bit to relax that foot. We're going to try to lift the foot up without dipping. So, lift. If you need to, you can take your chin to your chest. Try to get that bottom to lift. 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 Foot's relaxed. Keeping the hamstring relaxed. I'm working in a way that doesn't let it cramp. Four, three, two, and one. Walk that foot in. Toes are on the counter. If you have a counter or have a wall, you can use that. If you don't, heel is down, toes are up. Tighten up strong through the leg. I'm going to lean into it a little bit. My hips are steady, my chest comes forward, I'm bending just ever so slightly at my waist to stretch back behind my hamstring. Toes are up. Coming back, relax the foot. Switch to the side. Left side, bring it back. Bend it, loosen that foot up. Here we go. Finding the foot. There's a little arch in your back. If that is too much, your chin comes down. Pull in your belly. Lift. 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 Up. Right into this rear end. Lift. And your low back. All the sitting, lift, lift, lift. Remember, take it away if you feel your hamstring or relax that foot a little. Two, one, down. Left foot's coming forward to my counter. I have this wall here. I could use the wall, but I don't have to. Pull my toe up, strengthen my legs, look straight ahead, square my hips off. Get that stretch started to get more into your hamstring, right here at your hips. Little fold forward. Toe must stay up. Hips are coming back just a little bit, pulling the tummy. There it is. You may need to come deeper with your chest on one side than, than the other. Each side is different. Belly in. Four, three, two, and one. Letting it go. Shifting that weight. Two, and one. We're going to try to lengthen up on that side. We did this before, taking our hand up toward our shoulders. If you have no shoulder issues, maybe get your hand a little higher and rest it here. My left hand is resting on the wall. Maybe now you're there, you can get your hand even higher. You can pull your feet together or keep them shoulder width apart. We are going to try to push from the hips and lean toward the left. Right hip's gonna come over and I'm gonna lean and reach. Opening up and lengthening. 
pull your belly in, pull your bottom in. Maybe a glance slightly toward the left side. Maybe you straighten your arm up more. Lift those fingers toward the opposite corner of the room. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One. I'm going to come up slowly. If I want to, I can rest my hand on my head. I'm going to slide my hand across my head, drop my elbow down, my hand comes to my shoulder. I'm going to shake out my shoulders. Now I'm switching sides. So, I'm going to have to give you my backside. Sorry. All right, here we go. Pulling my bottom leg and my spine. Slide my hand up toward my elbow, my shoulder. Cross my head. Maybe I come all the way up. Shoulders stay down, belly in, bottom in. I like my feet together. You don't have to have your feet together. I'm going to push my left hip away and lengthen over to the right, pulling in my rear end. Lengthening upward and over, hip away. Almost there. Can you get those fingertips or waistline or side to lengthen for four? I'm coming back. My hand might rest on my head, drop to my shoulder, elbow in, down, all the way down, going into a little twist. Rolling on my feet. We're going to do the twist two times to see if you get a little farther on the second one. From the right side, find my right shoulder, my right arm. I'm going to have my palm here. I'm going to bring my pinky back, bring my shoulder back. I'm going to keep my feet planted and start to look for my right shoulder. And I'm going to keep twisting and maybe I can lift that arm and point to something behind me. And look and hold. We're going to do this twice. So come on in, other side, hand down, shoulder back. Here we go. Turning, turning, feet are planted. As I get back here, maybe I can look behind me, point to something, look for something. Pull in my belly. Get that one all the time. Five, pull in your bottom. Two. One, come on back in. And a little left and right. How about that rolling? I like a little rolling. Here we go. So, from the center, pull in your belly. Let's take our feet shoulder width apart. Hand down. Shoulder back. Eyes are going to follow. I'm going to turn and I'm going to look back. Oh, I can see a little further this time. Pulling my rear end and my belly. Two, three, two. Sorry, I just burst out into a little singing. <laughs> Other side. Hand down, shoulder down. Shoulder back, belly in, bottom in, turn back, reach back, look back. I can see all the way to that refrigerator. It's full of food. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. I'm going to take my arms in here, just give myself a little hug right out of my shoulder blades. My elbows come together, they rest on my chest. I pull my belly in and drop my chin down and feel my shoulders opening up. Okay. 
Coming back up, I'm going to look forward. Little lift to the elbows, release my hands. Stretching my arms wide, bringing them down behind in the back. Find a little grip if I can, or maybe I need to do a right hand or a left wrist. I'm going to try to pull it down, middle center, bottom in. I can also be doing the clasp and pull. Belly in. Three, two, one. Little release. Shake them out. Got to do it twice. Here we go. Big hug. Elbows in. Dropping down. Reaching for the shoulder blades. Chest down, tummy in. Three, two, eyes come up, elbows slowly separate, coming to the back, drop them down, left hand to right wrist, comes down and in, or both hands clasped together and you pull them down, you must pull in that bottom, and then your belly, Squeeze down. Two. And one. Little release. Arms come up. Out. Chin drops down. Little arm circles. If you can't hold them straight out, drop them down. If you need the balance, let's do one at a time. We'll do two sets. Reverse the direction. If you can, look forward, lengthen your neck, drop your shoulders, pull in your belly, two, and one, just stretch those fingers, lengthen your neck, five, four, pull in your triceps, the muscles on the back side of that arm, three, two, palms up, you can go into a long streamline, maybe stop here, maybe come over, pull your hands together, and your belly in. Three, two, and one. Let's bring them right down. Ah, elbows in, elbows in. Release. We're going to do one more time for those of you who had to hold the counter. So if you had to hold the counter, you're switching sides and just working your other arm. If you can, forward spins. You either switched arms or you're doing two sets on your arms. Hands can be lower than the shoulders, but not higher. Belly in. We're reversing. Ready? Stop and stretch. Shoulders down, neck long, belly in. Sternum up. Holding strong. Five, four. Can you find the triceps, the muscles behind the back side of your arms? Three, two, palms up. Up to that long, long pencil streamline if you can. Clasp the fingers, squeeze it up. Breathing, exhale, forget. We're bringing it down. That means your elbows are bending. Come on in. And then I'll go. Just about there. Chin to your chest. If you see your belly, maybe you can give it a pull in. Lift your chest, drop your shoulders, wiggle your fingers. Two. And one. Looking forward a little bit to the left. Shoulders down, squeeze them down, pull them down, pull your wrists down. Come to the center. Relax the shoulders, don't fall. Ready, here we go, you're looking to the right. Shoulders down, sternum up, belly in. Last time, we're almost there, four, five. Back to the center. If you can, if you can't, you can use your counter. Just a little squat. Relax your back and let your head go. 
You can rest your hands on your knees if that's okay for you. Let that neck go. Your hips are back. You can hold on here if you need to, but let the head go. Okay, you're coming up. If you need this counter, use your kitchen counter. Come on up. And shake everything out. I think that's probably about a half an hour. We did it. Good to see you all. I probably will see you again. Take care.